Welcome back to Heskey Agency. Let's continue with part two, focusing on the front end this time. Now, I'll show you how the drag and drop functionality works in the front end. Then, I'll go into more detail about how I've set up the listing grid together. Let's test and see if this works in the front end. As you can see, it works very well. It gets updated right there. Then we can use the cache and see if it gets stored. You can see it's stored here. Let's go to page two and test there as well. We'll take this Skoda here. It gets updated. And then we take this BMW, for example. We click on clear cache, check if it gets stored. There, we see it's stored. So you see it's been stored and the sorting works very well. Let's go to page four, for example. We'll take this Toyota here, there, and then we press OK. And then we click on clear cache to check that it's stored. This drag and drop only works when you are an administrator on the website. So not just anyone can come in and sort, it only works for those using it as an administrator. Now, I'll go into the settings on Elementor for the listing grid. First of all, we click on the listing grid and then we go to general. Then we choose the listing grid that we have already created. I've created one so I won't go into detail about how I've set up the design. I'll just show here quickly. Before we go into other settings, let's go into advanced first. Then we go to CSS ID and create an ID here. In my case, it's called listing one. We copy that. And then we go back again to the custom code for the front end. We go here. And then we insert the CSS ID here. I've entered several IDs here. You can use multiple IDs if you have several listing grids. Then you can use them. In my case, I've used one and two. So I have two here. Then I just paste the ID here and click on update. Then we go back again to Elementor, listing grid. And then we go back again to content. And then we scroll down a bit. And then we come to something called post query. Here we choose something called order and offset. We choose that. And then we set it to zero. And then we set it to ASC and then we set it to menu order. So. And then we go back again to general. Here I've set up three post numbers. You can set it to four, five, six. It's up to you how you want it. In my case, I set it to six and then we test. Then you see all the posts from the custom post type. They are shown here, and then we click on update. Before I go further, I'll show one more thing. Here we have pagination from JetSmart filter. What's important here for it to work with the listing grid? It's very important that we take the CSS ID from the listing grid here. Go to advanced, take it, copy it and then we go to pagination. You can find it just here. If you search, there you see it. Then you just drag it here, and then you can style it as you wish. Then we put it in the query ID, there. And then we set it to page reload and not Ajax. The drag and drop on the front end, it only works when it's set to page reload. We set it to page reload and then click on update on Elementor. 
and then we go back again to the front end. Here you see all the posts here. Now I'll test and see if it actually works. We take this one here, and then we click on OK, and then we check if it's still there, and the sorting has been stored. Then you go to clear cache. There you see it's still there, and it works. Then we take, for example, BMW here. It gets updated. We click on OK, and then we click on clear cache, and check that it's stored. There you see it's stored. And then we go to page two. We can start with Opal, for example. And then we take it there. We click on OK. And then we click on Clear Cache and double check that it's stored. Then you see it's not stored. That's why I wanted to show you why it wasn't stored. It's very important to double check that it's stored. But in this case, it's not stored. I can show why. If we go back again to the listing grid, we go there. Then we go to content again. What's important is, if you set it to six, then we must set it here also to six. If you see here, here it says posts per page, here it says three. If we change it to six, then it should work. So we go back again, then we go to page one again, and then we click on clear cache. Then we go back again to page two, and then we check if this really works. Then we take, for example, Mercedes. Okay, then we click on clear cache, check if it's stored. There you see it's stored. So for example, we can take Nissan Qashqai here. There we see it's updated. Shall we check if it's correct? There you see it's stored and it works very well. That concludes part two. We'll continue in part three. Please like, subscribe and share if you liked the video.